Hello friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm Handington, and today, we're going on a field trip. Seatbelts, everyone! Yep, thanks to Teal Draws, we found out the name of the giant enemy bug. Apparently, it's called the Mosquito Hawk, or here, the Skeeter Eater. Uh, it's officially known as the Crane Fly, so I've decided, huh, I had no idea that's what this thing was. This is the beauty of the internet, because you can help out everybody else to figure out what things are. So I thought this thing was dangerous, and while I still certainly would not want it to land on me, at least we can now look up more info on this mysterious creature. So, Mosquito Hawk. Here we go. Open in a new tab. The Crane Fly. Wikipedia. All right. Huh. There's Mosquito Hawk and Crane Fly, but Crane Fly... Oops. Well, the page is already loaded. Crane Fly is already listed underneath here, whereas this is the Mosquito Hawk. Ah. Chuck Will's Window, Crane Fly, Damsel Fly, Dragon Fly. No, I don't want to restart now. We're here to look up the Crane Fly. Okay. Uh, it's not Gamefly, which is a completely different service. Oh, for arthropods called Daddy Longlegs, see Daddy Longlegs. I would imagine so. Uh, Cranefly is a common name referring to any member of the Tipuleidae, the order of the Diptera, true flies of the superfamily. Oh, come on. Tipuleidae. Clindorotomine. Oh, there's more! L limonine. It sounds like a terrible, uh, type of lemonade. Oh my gosh, and there's another! Pedicine. Any more? Nope. Have ranks and subfamilies of the Tipulidae by most authors, although occasionally elevated to family rank. Any of you understand any of that? In most recent classifications, only Petty is now ranked as a separate family due to paraf... Okay, I want to learn more about this thing. I don't want to learn about its classification. In colloquial speak... Oh, that's how you pr pronounce... Col that's how you spell colloquial. C-O-L-L-O-Q-U-I-A-L. -L -L huh. Never saw it spelled out before. Crane flies are sometimes known as, known as mosquito fo fox, Mosti mosquito hawks, can't speak, or daddy long legs. Oh, no, daddy daddy long legs have like the tinier bodies, and then they they have the very long legs. Okay, hold on, let's look up daddy long legs. Order of arachnids. Ugh. I am so sorry, Lena Salas. Uh, these are, these are kind of gross. I know she does not care for bugs. Huh. An order of arachnids commonly known as harvestmen. Or daddy longlegs. That does not look like a daddy longlegs. That looks like a, a disgusting, ugh. It's like a tangled hairbrush with a living thing. This is more of what I was thinking. Philokidae. Philokidae. Cellar spiders. Uh, yep. I recognize these things. That's what, uh, Peter Parker was. Not, uh, the, uh, the real Peter Parker, but the, the Peter Parker that I had shown you before. In my, in my video, Friendly Neighborhood Spider. This is, I believe, the breed that he is. Or, well, he was very small. Uh, commonly known as Daddy Longlegs. No. No, this isn't what he was. He was a smaller one. Yeah. This is, this is what I was thinking of Daddy Longlegs being. Just the tiny spiders with the tiny bodies and the very long legs. Uh, also applied to, do, to other groups, harvestmen and crane flies, which are insects. But harvestmen are arachnids, and they all get called Daddy Longlegs. Interesting. 
It's also called Daddy Long Leg Spider, Granddaddy Long Leg Spider. Okay, never heard that one. The Carpenter Spider, Daddy Long Legger, or Vibrating Spider. The spider's just gonna sit there and just go, like one of those chairs in the middle of a mall. <laughs> Cellar spider. Oh, look at that! I oh, know it actually. Cellar spider vibrating rapidly to response of a threat. Come on, Wikipedia's video viewer. Oh my gosh, it actually does! I thought that's just it blowing in the wind. Huh. It does that to respond to a threat. Yeah, look at that! Vibrating spider- Ooh, I'll scroll up so you don't see that on the bottom there. Only species to exhibit this behavior. Red the spider is being called a vibrating spider. Some several reasons. Uses it as a response to a threat. Movement. We make it difficult for a predator to, predator to locate the spider. Well, it'll still be in the same spot, it'll just be moving back and forth very fast. Not like It's not like Goku, where he can vibrate super fast and be able to avoid bullets being shot at him. Sort of like the Flash. Yeah, yeah, these are what I was thinking of Daddy Longlegs being. Oh, misconceptions! Legend that they have the most potent venom of any spider, and that their fangs are either too small or weak. Oh, but, uh, there's... Pangs are too small or weak to puncture human skin. Same legend goes for Harvestman and Cranefly, also known as Daddy Long Legs in some regions. Uh, they do have very short fangs. Brown recluse spiders. Ugh. Ugh. This is a perfect Halloween thing. Ugh. They have these kinds of fangs, but they can't hurt with significant bites. Possible explanations include... The venom is not toxic to humans. Oh, yeah. Recluse. You just talked about the brown recluse spider. Didn't I don't think it answered the question about the legend of the daddy long legs being poisonous. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, they tested out the venom in Mythbusters episode 13, Buried in Concrete. Uh, they first established that the spider's venom was not as toxic as other venoms. Uh, mice were injected with a venom from Daddy Longlegs and a Black Widow. Black Widow was way stronger. After measuring the spider's fangs at approximately 0 0.25 millimeters, Adam Savage. That's his name? I don't watch Myth Mythbusters. I also don't watch Mythbusters, where somebody just destroys a copy of uh, the beloved PC game Myst for 72 hours in total. The series is still going. I don't know how he gets that many copies of Mist, but he does. Uh, that, that's not a real show, I'm kidding. Uh, turned his hand in a container with several daddy long legs. Dude, you are called Adam Savage for a reason. You dipped your hand in a container of several daddy long legs. He reported that he felt a bite which produced a mild, short lived burning sensation. So the bite did penetrate the skin. But it wasn't really harmful. It shows that the acid is relatively weak in its effects on insects as well. But he put his hand in a bucket of spiders! Man, what people will do on television. According to this, Daddy Long Legs have not harmed a human. There's no evidence that they are dangerous to humans. Prey on venomous spiders such as the Red Back, member of the Widow, uh, Red Widow. Oh, okay. I read that all wrong because I was skimming it. So, the legend may result from the fact that they actually kill venomous spiders, like the Black Widow spiders. Interesting. So, they are good spiders. So, they actually kill spiders that are capable of being venomous and bad to humans. Oh, would you look at that. So they are good spiders. Anyway, Cranefly, which is what we were talking about before, uh, and the whole point of what we're looking up here. Crane flies are found worldwide, although individual species have limited ranges. Diverse in the tropics, and also common in northern latitudes and high elevations. Which makes sense, because I am in the northern latitudes, uh, New York, and 
I also happened to be up much higher where I had seen it before. I was on top of a hill. The Tipuludae is one of the largest group of flies. Yeah, I'll bet that thing was like half of my hand in size. Tons of different species. Those crane flies were described by the entomologist. Yada yada. And they actually start off as little tiny maggot lumps. Yuck. Ugh, ugh, don't want to look at the head of that thing. Ew. But, uh, T Lena, I am sorry if that you're going to be grossed out while watching this, but Teal, you'll be, you love bugs, so you'll be very happy about this video. So, can't please everyone, I'm sorry. Adult crane flies and resem yeah, resembles an oversized mosquito, which is why it was kind of terrifying. <laughs> They're deciduous, easily coming off the body. Wingspan is yada yada in size. They have a thorax. Okay. All right, formal. They are large flies. Yep, I got that already. These are their dimensions, in case you wanted to replicate one of them, I guess. Biology. Here we are, here we are. The adult female usually contains mature eggs. Yada, okay, yada, yada, eggs. Surface of water breeds like a fly. Okay, yeah, I got that. Why they may eat algae or decomposing plant matter. Huh. So the babies are vegetarian. Interesting. They include all kinds of fresh water that, where they breed. They are... The larvae are important to the soil ecosystem. Ah, so they're sort of like worms in the sense that they create microbes and organic stuff. They prey on many animals, including spiders, fish. Oh, wow. Crane flies prey on fish and amphibians. Larvae are valuable prey items. Oh, no. Okay. They are valuable prey, prey items for many animals, not they don't, they don't prey on these animals. They are prey for other animals due to their size. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. And yeah, a crane fly is way more meaty than a mosquito, so it makes sense for things to eat them, especially if they are harmless and also huge, uh, which would make them big targets. Oh, wow, the global diversity. They're much more common in China and South America. And this whole region... Huh. Oddly enough, they are not as common in Australia or Lower Africa, and they're just kind of mediocre over here. Interesting. Very interesting. Pest status. Agricultural pests. Oh, because they eat the root hairs. Oh, because they're vegetarians. They eat a lot of the plants. And that ends up being a problem for farmers. It's a farmer problem. Here we go. Misconceptions. There's an enduring urban legend that crane flies are the most venomous insects in the world. of have no ability to administer the venom. That's not true. Uh, due to the fact that they're confused with cellar spiders known as daddy long legs. There we go. That's why they're called daddy long legs. It's incorrect because they look like daddy long legs, which is what I had thought. It was like a daddy long leg dragonfly mosquito. Uh, the spider does have venom. It doesn't hurt people. We already looked that up. They're also sometimes called mosquito hawks. They don't, they don't actually eat mosquitoes. Oh! They don't eat mosquitoes, which... Yeah, because they're vegetarian. Cranefly larvae feed on roots, grass, and other fields, while adults will feed on other things and nectar. Wow, they don't even eat other bugs. So why are they called the mosquito hawk? That, that sounds like they eat mosquitoes. Like they're a hawk that just preys on mosquitoes, like a hawk would prey on uh, snakes or stuff. Huh. Well, would you look at that? Common names. Many are called mosquito hawk, mosquito eater, galley nipper. And golly whopper. Golly whopper. They're, they're called golly whopper. Well, golly. 
I just hacked out another tonsil stone while saying golly whopper. Away you go. Golly whopper? They call this thing a golly whopper. Oh, golly, it is a whopper. That's an enormous... I'd look at that whopper and I'd go golly. Huh. Well, I think the best way I can sign this off is by saying, now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Yeah.